think about, okay, I'm going to set this boundary. Is this something I can follow through with? Mm -hmm. Because I think what happens sometimes is people immediately, they go to the red and they think the boundary has to be, I'm cutting off all communication. My mom won't stop Mm -hmm. talking about diet or my body or weight loss. I need to cut off all communication or this friend continues to emotionally dump on me. I need to break up with my friend, but I encourage people to say, okay, maybe that isn't the only limit. Maybe you can just limit the way you communicate, how often you communicate. If this tends to happen over meals, maybe you socialize outside of meals. If it tends to happen on the phone, maybe you try, you know, email and text message for a little while. There are some in-between ways to hold the boundary, Mm -hmm. but you have to be willing to hold it because if you don't, a couple of things happen. Number one, if you set the boundary and then don't hold it in the face of pushback and pressure, that person is just going to be even more convinced that their needs are valid and they're going to double down the next time you try to say it. But most important, you have just taught yourself that you can't trust yourself to yes. advocate for yourself. Yes. You have just taught yourself that maybe my needs don't matter as much as somebody else. And that is such a profound message to absorb in your body, Mm -hmm. this idea that I set this healthy limit and I did not hold it. And I need you to keep that promise for yourself because your needs are worthy. Your needs are valid. They matter just as much as anybody else's. And you deserve this perfectly reasonable, healthy limit. 